What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. My name is Ashley. I'm currently a college student studying marketing, so make sure to subscribe down below to join the family. But if you're not new here, hello, welcome back. But today's video is super, super exciting. I'm like so excited to finally be filming this. This has been my most highly requested video like ever, like ever on my channel. And I always get so nervous to film it because I just want it to be perfect. I don't want to miss any information. And this video is how to edit your YouTube videos using iMovie and a couple tips and tricks for the year of 2021 and put this down to the T you guys I literally made a whole thing in my notes on my phone on what I want to talk about because I do not want to miss anything super excited to share with you guys all of my knowledge and pass it on to you guys so all of you can edit your videos start your channels or whatever excited for this video make sure to give it a thumbs up right now I will wait like five seconds for you guys to give this video a thumbs up because I'm going to be sharing so much information. I'm spilling the tea. So step one is going to be planning out your videos. So for example, for this video, I wanna make sure I wanna get all my information out, planned out this video in my notes. So that's something to think about if you're gonna be doing like a sit down video. It's really nice and helpful to have like a bulleted list of things that you wanna talk about so you kind of stay on track. But yet again, like if you're doing like daily vlogs, you don't really need to plan those out essentially. But obviously just having like a list of things that you wanna do in that video is really, really helpful. Journal, your phone. Something that I also want to point out is planning out monthly videos. I know that's something that you probably aren't thinking about right now if you're a beginner, but like it definitely helps. Like if you wanna post at least once a week, which I highly recommend you guys, like this is my biggest tip ever. Something that a lot of you don't think about, but if you're starting a channel, literally set like a specific day out of the week and make that your posting schedule. If you wanna post on Wednesdays, post on Wednesdays. I currently just post on Sundays because I am a full-time college student, so I don't have time to literally post twice a week right now, but usually in the summer, I will try to post twice a week. But usually I post every single Sunday, and if you're not new here, you know that I post every single Sunday. Um, not gonna lie, these past two months have been pretty rocky for me. I've probably missed like two Sundays or maybe even three. I honestly don't even know. But for the past year and a half, I didn't miss a Sunday. Like I literally did not let myself miss a Sunday. And let me tell you, consistency is key. Like my biggest tip ever is be consistent because so many like beginner YouTubers make a channel but they're just not consistent they'll post maybe five times one month one time next month like you're not going to grow if you do that like i'm literally just saying that unless you have like a viral video that hits like 10 million views maybe but like the second step is obviously filming um i actually have a whole entire video dedicated to how to like film and edit on your iphone so if you want to go check that out i have like a time card right here but you guys have been loving that video so so much and that's only like the beginning of like how to do things edit on your iphone and want some like major tips on like how to get the best quality and stuff i definitely recommend to go watch that video for me but i feel like starting on your iphone is honestly the best way to go i've only had my camera right now the canon g7x mark ii for like a year and a couple months and I did YouTube for maybe like eight months before that and I just used my iPhone and I was able to reach my thousand subscribers just by using my iPhone. If you do have the money and want to buy like a camera, I definitely recommend it. I absolutely love my camera recently. I did have like the screws come out but like I literally just ordered some on Amazon, screwed it back in and it's literally brand new. But I love my Canon G7X Mark II because it's just so easy to throw in my backpack, throw in my jacket pocket when I'm vlogging on campus so people don't look at me weird. Like I'll literally pull it out vlog and I just put it in my jacket and it's really easy to just fit in there. I love it because it's just so like small and discreet but like it's still there if you know what I mean. Also for filming you can use a tripod. I do have one right now from Best Buy and it kind of sucks but I haven't even purchased a new one because honestly you guys most of the time when I'm vlogging, I just use like a water bottle and put my camera on it. Like I will literally just use whatever I have to set my camera on. Like I usually set it on my desk, 
my water bottle. I will like stack three books and then a water bottle. So step number three is going to be how to import your footage and I feel like I do it um, different personally but something that you can do is obviously um, grab the SD card and put your SD card in your laptop and import it that way but I don't have anything on my laptop like I don't have like the SD card thing and I honestly just don't feel like buying an adapter or whatever to do that right now but with this Canon camera I can import all the footage to my phone using Wi-Fi now I have just like all my Canon footage on my phone and what I like to do personally is I will edit all of this footage on iMovie not that big of a file like this one was like 25 minutes there and then I'll just do like rough cuts because you guys, I'm not kidding, when I'm doing vlogs, I will have like an hour and a half of footage to like rough cut through. So I usually will do that on iMovie and once it's like condensed to at least like 20 minutes, I will airdrop it to my computer and then start editing it. Um, right now I do use Final Cut Pro to edit all my YouTube videos, but for like a year and a half I just used iMovie. And honestly, there's not a really big difference. Like I'm literally just gonna point that out right now. There's not a big difference from Final Cut Pro and iMovie and iMovie's free, so dude, that's how I import my footage. So just airdropping my footage to my laptop. Step number four is going to be how to edit your videos, like literally what you came here for. So I'm actually going to start screen recording on my computer right now so you guys can see what is going on. Do is drag the footage to the timeline and how do I edit this? So by editing it is obviously like cutting the clips and like deleting stuff you don't want. I want to edit this out. I want to like stop it right here, put that out. Then all I have to do is do command B and then pause it to where I want to like cut it and do command B again. And then on the part that you did and click delete on your keyboard. And let's say like something that you didn't want to, you just do command Z and it just like redoes it. And let's say you want to copy and paste the same clip more than one time. You do command C and then command B. If that makes any sense. So command B is cutting, command Z is undoing, and command like C is copying, but then you paste it as well. So like as you can see, I'm like pasting all this right now. And I want to undo it, I just do command Z. So as you can see, it's really easy. I like all the things that I just said right here in case you're confused. And a lot of you may be beginners and be like, I already know how to do that. Show me how to do something else. Um, so the next thing I'm going to show you guys on what to do is pen burn. So I feel like you guys see this a lot in other YouTubers videos as well as kind of when like the image zooms in or in, like zooms out while they're talking. So all you have to do is grab the clip that you want and go to this like cropping thing and then as you can see up here it literally says ken burns or it says start and end and you kind of drag it where you want to like where you want it to end and stuff so i'm gonna grab like the end and let's say i kind of want it to like zoom in like this and so once i play it as you can see it kind of just like goes inside a little bit of like spice to your video if you're like talking and stuff and you want to keep it a little interesting you can use that editing tip that i have is using green screens and i did not know about this for a long time during my youtube journey <laughs> green screens are pretty much just like a green screen but you can like overlay on your video so for example for like my very very old intro i did like the glitch stars glitch stars green screen so as you can see screens are pretty much overlays that you can put on your youtube video so Glitch Stars one is a very popular one. I feel like everybody has seen this. So all you have to do is copy the link. It's a website called YouTube Downloader or something. Um, and all you have to do is paste the link, download, and it'll automatically download the video into your computer. And now all you have to do is go to this like drop down arrow up here to import it to your project. So all you're going to want to do is drag it on top of your footage and it to where you want to. Much lay it over your footage that you want it to be over, the sound on it. You can hear my very loud computer. It's literally freaking out because I've been recording on it for like maybe 10 minutes. So it's like a bunch of storage on there. But we're just going to ignore that sound. What I do is go up here to the tools thing and click on this like double folder thing. I keep saying thing, but like, just watch. On the down bar, it says green slash blue screen. And as you can see, like the whole green screen went away. So it's kind of just like 
an overlay on your video. It's a little something that you can take advantage of on YouTube. There's a lot of green screens and stuff like that. So if you just type in like subscribe green screen, um, stars green screen on YouTube, you can put it over your video to give it like a cool editing effect. So that's something that you can definitely take advantage of is the green screen effect on iMovie. Step number five is adding text to your videos and I'm just gonna be honest, I hate all the text on iMovie because they're all just like, as you can see, it just gives you like these weird effects. And like, I just want like the text to stay there and not move. I got you. So all you have to do is go to canva.com, guys. Canva is literally amazing. I love Canva so much. If you don't know what Canva is, go check it out. Design and type in YouTube video and it gives you like the right dimensions. Do the background as like a lime green for like the green screen effect. And then you just type in what you want to type. So I'm just gonna type in hello. Make it as big as you want, obviously. It's kind of annoying, but like if you use the same ones every time, it's not gonna be that bad. It is download it to your computer. I'm gonna go back to iMovie and then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna go ahead and import that footage again. Put it over the footage and then yet again use the green screen effect that I showed you guys how to use earlier on the clip. And as you can see, ta-da, you have your own text. And that is something that I feel like a lot of you need to know how to do because I feel like adding text in your videos is very, very important. Like you could literally put Make sure to subscribe down below using this green screen effect on iMovie. But step number six is adding music to your videos. And when I first started YouTube, you guys, I didn't add any music to my videos and it was so awkward. So like right now, let's just say I didn't have any music. Like if I'm just like pause, it's kind of just like quiet and like awkward. And especially when you're doing sit down videos, it's nice to have like a little bit of background music. So I don't have the best like music for like montages and blocks and stuff so i got you guys so one of the apps that i really like to use is um the matic and it's free and when i first found this app i'm um, not app i guess it's a website when i first found this website they didn't even have like a premium version it was just all completely free and i feel like since it's more popular now they do have like a premium version which you can pay for but they have a lot of um, royalty free music so you don't get copyrighted on your videos because if you do get monetized one day you're gonna thank yourself another website is epidemic sound which is something that i currently use well i use like everything honestly but epidemic sound you do have to pay for it i'm currently on the free trial because i wanted to test it out see how i like it so you can also use like the free trial to see if you like epidemic sound but i definitely recommend to try thematic everything that i wanted to go through i went through this entire list kind of like step by step on like how i would edit my video editing, filming importing footage editing adding music like that is everything that i do to edit my videos if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to click that subscribe button down below to join the family because i'm going to be posting a lot more helpful videos like this. Make sure to leave a comment down below on any questions that you have because i'm going to be answering all of your questions like if you still have a question after this video i would be more than happy to answer that for you and help you out or dm me on instagram so if you are following me on instagram go follow me there i was in your place not too long ago i just want to be that person to help you guys out because i know how frustrating it is to watch youtube videos and for the person like not to tell you like how to do things and it's kind of just like what's the point of your video if you're not gonna spill the tea i will see you guys in my next video bye